So today I'm going to show you how to create an image like this with a $200 light. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we had decided to make a video using some cheaper gear because as much as Peter says it's not about the gear, we still seem to get a lot of comments of people uh, saying that they can't afford pro photo, they can't afford bronze color. Um, we should make videos using cheaper stuff. So Peter's just got a really old, super cheap $200 light that he's gonna... Well, they suggested I should go on Alan Crom. I've gone worse than that. Okay, cool. <laughs> he'll so he'll, he'll run through all that. <laughs> we've gone for a light that has settings of, I don't know if you can see that, but it's quarter, half or full. <laughs> They're the only light settings we've got. I think Peter got this when he first started doing photography about 20 odd years ago. More than that. More than that. I thought it could work, but not. Well, we're gonna we're gonna show you that it can work, and it really isn't about the gear. And he's gonna turn it into a cool fashion shot. We are still using he is still using the Hasselblad though because it is the easiest for him to teach with because it just tethers so easily and it just it works for him and it's just the easiest for him to demonstrate with. But you obviously don't need a Hasselblad to do this. And let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk you through our setup. We've got a little bit of ambient light. You can see the natural light. We're going to pick up a little bit of this and use this as fill. But the main light source we're using is this little thing called an SLS 1000. I think it cost me $200. <laughs> like I said before, we have quarter, half or full. That's all we have. I've got a sync. It does do a sync cable, so I've just got synced into a trigger. We've dropped a, a wall there and I've put a white bounce board this side that's mainly to fill light into Beck's black hair against the black couch. I just didn't want her to look like a bald person with the hair <laughs> blending to the couch. Um, there's something I want to do with the wall a little in a minute, but I won't do it straight away. Just, I think it'll look really cool if I did it, but I want to shoot some shots without it and then do it. Sorry, I'm stringing you along. But. Um, my, I am on my Hasselblad today, um, and like Beck said, this is, I love this camera, it's my favourite camera in the world, but if I had to, I could easily use a APS-PC and get a very similar shot to this. This, I'm shooting this at 800 ISO, uh, f5.6 at 160th of a second. With my setup, just to get my light balanced, I played around with my aperture and shutter. So a lot of people get confused about that. The aperture will turn up and down both the flash and the ambient light. The ISO will turn up and down both the flash and the ambient light. The shutter will only turn up and down the ambient light. So if I need a little bit more fill, I can dial my ambient light down. So if I'm at 160 of a second, I can go to 100 of a second, bring more ambient light in, that will not turn the flash up. Or if I want to kill some of my ambient light, I might come up to 250th of a second, which will kill more of the ambient light, but won't turn down the flashlight. Have a play with that. It's good fun to do. So what I'm going to do is get back on there, mm -hmm. and we're going to create an image. Create an image. Well, we'll create a something. something. <laughs> we'll just do stuff. We'll just do stuff. Um, all my, my settings in here, uh, we have a little bit of contrast put on this. We've got that shadow fills up a little bit. That's just, uh, I just wanted to see how we've got black boots, black couch, black hair. I wanted to get some of that to separate. So that's why I have my shadow fill brought up. It's still looking black. So it's still looking black, but we now have a separation between the three. I've put a very small amount of clarity it's just a tiny little pop, so it's not really that much, but it's just giving me that slight little bit of localised contrast. I've put a little bit of a down curve. If I turn it on and off, you'll see that it just gets that slightly chromier skin onto her leg. I'm on my green channel 100% because that's a look I like to use a lot. And no vignetting um, and sharpening is turned off as always. So a couple of things with the type of shot I want to get. 
I do want this a little bit edgy, so that's why we've gone with this high cut jumper to get some edginess into it. And I do want to get a nice pretty face. Is the jumper clumpy or not clumpy in the right places? It's a little bit clumpy. Um, it's not too bad, it's better than before. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. That's and cool. just on the side, I can just see the bit of the black of your underwear. Yeah. Just right at the point, right, right up the, the top point. point. Uh, Perfect. Okay. So we wanted this to look, we did want to look nearly like she wasn't wearing underwear in a way that it's like an endless thigh. We want, I wanted that sort of endless thigh sort of look. I've set up my angle to what I want. I focus now. I shouldn't have to focus that many times. I'm cropping where I like it. So if I did that flash? Yeah, it did. Oh, it did. So, so I'm so used to hearing beeps go off when the flashes go mm. off. I changed my camera angle just a little bit. Cool, I like that. Just check my picture on there. Overexposure warnings are on so you can see nothing's going off. And about, my jumper's going off at about a third of a stop above was about perfect what I want. So now it's just a matter of getting a killer shot. So the pressure's on back. Ah. I've done my job, it's up to her to do her job. Did now. you turn the RX on? Yeah. I'm just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> Can you just model? I'll take photos. You're not even Gimbal Girl today. I gimbal Girl. Gimbal Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember that, There's Gimbal Girl. All right, so this is cool. I just want to go through how I work with Beck or work with any model I work with a lot. Cool, cool. I don't, stunning set, that's cool. Just so, remember the eyes, tease away. So some of the things I've worked with Beck on is by changing a certain part of her body, make sure she feels something happen when she does. So for all the camera club cam photographers out there, yes, I'm cutting her hand off. I don't care. It's not the picture. Her face, her eyes are the picture. Cool, that's really pretty. It's really pretty. Just seeing eyes, nice. So all I'm looking for, I'm trying to tempt back to just keep moving, but move in a way that she actually feels something. So when she lifts the leg up a little bit, it makes her feel a certain way. Or if she stretches it out, it makes her feel a certain way. So I just get a difference in the look. Because we're shooting everything from this one angle, that's really pretty. Do you want to just adjust the jumper a fraction? Cool. cool. That's really pretty. It's stunning, stunning. It's really nice. Cool. I look like I have a headache then. Yeah, no headaches. <laughs> so there's certain things, if a model tends to do something too much, I find a description of it so that she'll never do it again. <laughs> so quite often, um, yeah, it's cool. If the model puts a hand on her head, I'll say, oh, a headache, <laughs> stomach ache. I just did that one just then. Well. <laughs> yeah. Smelly armpit. Smelly armpit on the phone. <laughs> and once, once the model hears you say it a couple of times, they'll never do it again. So yep. it's my way of getting that out of them. I'm going to change my angle just a little bit. So I'm going to go a slightly different angle. That's something that's really pretty. Cool. That's pretty. Cool. Eyes, just work those eyes in. Nice, nice. Stunning, stunning drive. Okay, really pretty. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I'm just going to try one of my little tricks. I just want to see what happens. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work. So I've just got a spray bottle and I'm just going to spray no. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to spray the back wall. And why I'm doing this is I want to try and get a shimmer when the light goes off. That's all right, it looks cool on the couch too. Yeah, I more just want to get a sort of a, a shiny spot on the wall where the light yeah. hits it. Um, I've done this before on black walls. And it looks really cool. It's very technical. It's so technical. <laughs> a lot of time and effort. I think that's all I need to do. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> and if the refraction, refraction of the light is not perfect, you won't see any sign of it. Cool. That's really pretty. Ah, uh, all we've got is driplets. Driplets? 
Yeah, it only gave me driplets. Oh, no. I don't know if I like the driplets. Oh, oh, no. Yes, the driplets are horrible. <laughs> I promise I'll do a video on this that works. <laughs> I think I need the light straight on to get straight bounce off it, but it's definitely not working. Oh. Cool, so now that I've removed the driplets. <laughs> cool. That's actually really cool. I really like this angle. I like that attitude. It was worth getting the driplets just to get that face. That's cool. I like that. Cool. Nice, nice. One of the joys of shooting on tripod is once I'm set up, I really don't have to change much and I can just concentrate on looking or talking to the model to get the feel I want. Cool. Eyes, that's better. That's really cool. Cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Cool. Cool. So. Do I have to get up? <laughs> you don't have to get up if you don't want to. I'll get up. <gasps> Hopefully that was enjoyable and showed you that it really isn't about the gear. If you saw that Peter was just using a really cheap light and if that hasn't really set it in enough that it's not about the gear, I'll drop a video up around here that it will link us to link you to a, an older video we did where Peter shot with an ASPC camera, was it? And still got incredible shots while tethering with that. May, yeah, do, I'm not even gonna spoil it. Just go check that out if you wanna see. And we hope to see you guys next time when we come back very soon. When we do droplets. We do droplets, we do droplets. Droplets. <laughs>